In this video, we're talking about the regression estimator for our slope beta hat. So if you've gone through the book's derivation, you see that beta hat is equal to, we have in the numerator, the sum of the yi's times xi minus x bar, and then the denominator is the sum of the xi's minus x bar squared. All right, so what I want to show you is that beta hat has this distribution. It's going to be normally distributed with mean beta, and then the variance is going to be sigma squared divided by the sum of the xi minus x bar squared. All right, so first thing we're going to do is just start with the expectation. All right, so the expectation of beta hat, let's go ahead and just write down what beta hat is. Okay, so this is the same thing as the sum of i equals 1 to n, yi times xi minus x bar, and then we divide by the sum from i equals 1 to n of the xi minus x bar squared. Okay, so maybe this looks intimidating at first for a second, but remember that the x's are constant, right? So we have constant up here, constant here. Let's pull out all those constants from the expectation. So we have in the numerator, i equals 1 to n, yi, we're taking the expectation of that, and then we have xi minus x bar. And then the denominator, we can just go ahead and pull that straight out. All right, so now at this point, we have just one expectation that we're worrying about, but we know the expectation of yi is just alpha plus beta xi. So let's recopy this. So we have a sum alpha plus beta xi times xi minus x bar. And then in the denominator, we have a sum i equals 1 to n xi minus x bar squared. All right. So at this point, it's going to be helpful if we just introduce a little piece of notation just so that we can make some little substitutions. So let's let gamma equal alpha um, minus beta xi, x bar, excuse me. Okay, so gamma is equal to alpha minus beta x bar. So that means that we're going to go to where alpha is and use this substitution. Okay, so this expectation now is equal to the sum i equals 1 to n. And here, instead of having alpha plus beta x bar, because we're using that substitution, um, we write gamma plus beta xi minus x bar. And then we still have this xi minus x bar piece and the denominator is staying the same. And we'll pause it so we can make a little bit of space. 